So last year, you guys showed off 5v5 PvP. Uh, what are you showing off this year? Well, this year we're showing the hunting grounds. What exactly is this new mode? What is hunting grounds? Well, it's not just a mode. It's really the essence of what our game is. And the hunting grounds are a shared world where you can kind of sail by yourself. You can group up with your friends. You can take on other pirates and ravage the trade routes in a shared space. And the idea is for players to be able to understand the environment, prepare for their hunt, get information about the world, and then go tackle it and take it on. You'll see enemies that can be players or they can be just enemies in the game. What happens when you encounter another player? The moment of truth happens when you see a player. You use your tools, like I said, use the map, the spyglass, uh, your crow's nest to assess the situation, and then you can spyglass that ship and decide if you want to group with that player or you want to maybe avoid that player or sneak up on him. So you can disguise your ship, say as a Portuguese merchant, sneak up on your enemy, and then take him on without him ever, ever knowing that you were a pirate in disguise. So say I want to turn on my allies, say I want to... You're one of those guys, right? Oh, uh, absolutely. Oh, awful. Absolutely. Uh, what, what am I what am I gonna get out of that? What am I gonna take from them? Well, the resources in the world are what every pirate and every faction is competing against. If you look at the way our world is set up, the resources of the Indian Ocean are what everyone's there to compete for. So if I'm a pirate and I'm hunting on a particular trade route, I'm tackling the English or the Portuguese VOC, whatever that faction is that's got all of the riches and you want them, you're gonna have to take me down to be able to get the things that I've got in my cargo hold. The more that I'm hunting on that trade route, the more of a threat or competitive I am for you. So you have a choice to make. Do you want to group with me and we take on uh, the challenges and go for bigger and tougher challenges, or do you want to take me out and take it all for yourself? That's the question you have to answer. The ships, too, are customizable, and you can you can level up certain aspects of them. Uh, how are the ships going to be differentiated from player to player? Obviously, we have a very unique uh, identifying weapon or uh, ability for each one of the ships, but the gameplay customization comes into that. You have not just the weapons that you can customize outside of your key signature weapon, but crewmates themselves. That's kind of where the meta lies, right? You're able to collect and recruit new crew members that give you modifiers and gameplay changers. And then, of course, personalization is key, right? You want to be able to express yourself on the high seas. You you saw that in the gameplay video, being able to put your custom sails, custom figureheads, custom wheels, and really put your personal touch. You can design your own logos, your own, really create an identity for yourself on the high seas. Well, Justin, lastly, where and when can people play Skull and Bones? Well, we're launching in uh, 2019 on Xbox One, Xbox X, PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, and Windows PC. But you can register right now for our live phases at SkullandBonesGame.com. Um, get, in, get involved now. We want the community to be really part of that shaping process to make the best pirate game that's ever been made. Justin, thank you so much. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to check out more Skull and Bones. Great. Please,